Well, I'm not going to even count how many bowls of gumbo I have eaten. Well, a lot. Get my canvas ready. The back is always ugly, but we're going to pretty it up with this top. But right now, I'm going to give this a good ironing, steaming, get it smooth. Finish gluing it. I put some padding underneath. Always do your corners first so you can have a nice smooth corner. And then we'll come in with our glue gun. Let me do this, get the canvas ready, get it ironed, and I'll be back in a second. Alrighty then, we have our canvas ready. I haven't put the back on yet because I have to decide what I'm going to hang it from. And I'll conceal it in between these two layers. But right now, I did cut out the Bon Appetite. Bon Appetit. And I'm in the process of, I think I'm going to go with black on that yellow. So let me get these painted up with some black paint and I'll be back. Still at it. Stop her. She's out of control. Oh man, this lace is so beautiful. And it's my reasonable service to bless somebody with it. Oh God, look at that. I'm layering. You guys are gonna get some lavish, lizzy goodness. <laughs> this is the most fun part for me in Bellaston. And we have laces like this to work with it, just motivates you and inspires you. This woman, she has an eye for beauty. She really did. Make sure you check out my pal Liz, cause um, she's so generous. When I receive packages from her, she just blesses me abundantly with all kind of stuff. You know, I used to be such a hard, and it's silly to just hard stuff. You know what I mean? Why well, bother about it if you're not gonna use it? I had it bad. I guess that's why I lost so much because uh, it was like the Israelites. God gave them manna. He said, look, that's enough manna for one day, but they're greedy behind was trying to gather it for... He said, you don't need to try to stash none. So it would rot on them. I don't know why man is so greedy. That means that we don't trust God to provide. For us. See, this is why I haven't put the back on yet because I can hide stuff under that back. Still haven't decided what I'm gonna hang it with, but I'm really leaning toward. I have some black card. I just for some. I wish I had some black lace. In fact, I know I got some black lace. I got some lace. I gotta find and a little hanger here will be black. Now you see this texture in here. I left it there. It looks kind of messy, but it's texture, and I love texture. I'm trying to debate on whether I'm going to go around here with they I think it might be overkill and take away from the skillet. Really, this right here is hiding because there was a crack. It won't have that in your template when you buy the kit. You won't have a problem because it's going to be one solid piece. I told you I had a breakage because I had a poor graphic. All that jagged edge, although it worked out. But that's why uh, I'm going to use this graphic and it will be one piece. I'll trace a solid line because that silhouette software, when it um, picks up everything and then it gives you a cutout. So, uh, and it's best to start with a nice clean gra uh, graphic. I took this graphic into Photoshop and uh, so I could raise the threshold, but uh, I still couldn't get a clean cut because I had a bad graphic to begin with. I was thinking about doing a tutorial for people who have a cutting machine to show them how to take any black and white graphic and turn it into a cutting file. It's good to know these things. I always was a techie. I thank God for that. He just gave me that kind of brain. I always I was the type of person to take your transistor ready to your part. I had just had to see how it operated. I had a brother who liked to do the same thing with roaches. 
My brother used to dissect roaches, butterflies. I think that, well, I know he had a bent. You can watch your kids and see they have a bent toward a certain area, you know, but nobody could afford to send that child to school to be a doctor, but he probably would have made an excellent surgeon or who knows what's hidden in our children. But you can watch your child and see. Oh, uh, they said I was going to either be a communicator or some, something, cause I was always talking. The teachers would tell my mother, your daughter is very intelligent, but she just will never shut up. How can we get her to shut up? My mama said, you can't. She just was born to talk. And I was in communication for a long time, and I like to uh, inspire people. I, I used to go around interviewing the elderly, especially elderly veterans. They have stories to tell. And I got them recorded. I have a lot of videos of the veterans talking about their war time. And everybody's met Ron Albert. Ron Eberts, he was a genius. That man, I don't care what my ailment was, he brought me a potion. And believe me, it worked. Oh, you got so much nice stuff. All right, guys, I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to finish this so I can get this video up. And then uh, I'll post pictures on Facebook page and let the let the, let uh, my friends know that they have an opportunity to, to win this. They don't have to do nothing, absolutely nothing. It's just a thank you for joining my list and for hanging out with me, putting up with me. And I'll probably do a giveaway once a month, just put names in a hat and put select somebody. And uh, anyway, the kit. In the kit, you're going to get a piece of this yellow background fabric, piece of batting, because I did pad it. You get all these letterings. They already be cut out. You could tell me if you want a color. I'll cut it out in red car stock or gold. I'm probably not going to do this gold treatment. You could do it yourself, but I will I'll cut it out in gold. I have some gold... Uh, wrapping paper that I can I can I can cut it out of that you know I probably put it on mount it on some regular car stock with this this stuff is great where is it that all these things I don't know where it's at oh I wanted to show you this is the varnish I use I use it on my clay I use it on my clay I use it on just about everything I paid 14 bucks for this can it lasts forever good stuff it's just um it's like a floor polish. Remember that floor polish? They don't make them more. I forgot. Uh, what was the name of that? I used to use it for my jewelry all the time. They stopped making it. Something floor polish. But this is the same thing. I love this stuff. Don't ask me to pronounce it. I'm horrible. Varathane. Polyrithane. Oh, I'm, I'm careful. I, if a person loves to run him out, I can't talk worth a darn, and these and the accent ain't helping now. But it don't bother me, honey. It bothers you. I always say, if you want to learn, you'll put up with my little dialect. The only thing I hate about dialects is people think it, because you have a dialect that you don't have no sense. <laughs> really, if you have a problem understanding Louisiana people, put on a closed caption, dude. <laughs> They'll all tell you exactly what we're saying. My sisters, who are very educated, get mad with me. They, they say, you can pronounce words if you want to. I said, look, I've been pronouncing words like this, and I'm, I'm, my mouth don't feel like going through all that. My grandmother was a vegetable. She called it vegetable. It was a broken French. So, you know, I'm too old. I'm not going to say I'm too old to change. I don't want to change. I am who I am. I am me. Take me or leave me. I'm a pretty decent person. I learned to love myself many years ago. Because you had to listen to fools telling you about how negative stuff about yourself. You end up not even liking yourself. But honey, I settled it with God. God made me, so I got to be special. You don't make no joke. All right. Next time you see me, I have uploaded this video. And I'll post a picture on Facebook. And... I wish you the best. I wish all of you could win, but I certainly hope that all of you would buy the kit and make one. In fact, the first person to make one is going to get some goodies from me. You know, like I said, the kit is only five bucks. You're going to get 
the background fabric, you're going to get all these cutouts, all the templates. All you got to do is add your laces and pretty it up and, you know, put your taste on it. You know what you like. I'll probably put some flowers in the corner because, look, they got some of those beautiful flowers. And I can make all this stuff. I don't want to. Why should I make when somebody else already do it? I do what I'm good at and she do what she good at. You know? I make a lot of flowers and stuff. Well, who has time? It's fun for me just to patronize other people. I try my best to outgive God, but every time I open up my hand and give somebody something, God just drop more goodness in me. You can't, uh, you can't outgive him. It's a shame that I'm going to lavish this stuff. It's not a shame, really. Why not? This stuff needs to be lavished. It's just so pretty. I don't know if I'm going to use all this, but it's fun looking at it. You know, I'll hang it with something black. You can put it in your kitchen. I'm going to do a sign that says, take your butt outside. It's going to be a, something about not smoking. I don't know how I'm going to do it. i got to think about it. Something clever and funny. And you can hang it up and take your butt outside. B-U-T-T. got to think about that. All right, guys. Uh, I'm having a great day. The kids are gone. I don't know where they're gone, but I'm glad. This is a bunch. Chuck is home. My grandson, he's home. He's uh, going to go. He's in the Navy. He just left boot camp, and he got to go to somewhere. Something to start with an M. I forgot. He's going to be there three years. He's, no, he's going to go from there. They're going to get on the ship. He's going somewhere. Be praying that he don't have to go fight nothing, do nothing like that. But I think it's his rescue. And, yeah, I think he's going to work mostly with uh, bringing uh, aid to tornado victims. I mean, um, whatever they have on the water, typhoon, people, whatever. Just whatever whatever he's doing, he's going to be serving his country. God bless him. He volunteered to uh, do that. God bless him. So, and then we have one kid home. She goes away to college in the spring and then it's just gonna be me and Becky and the dogs. All the rest of the girls have a home. Brooke just bought and her husband just bought a home, their first home. And tomorrow we're going over there for dinner and their first dinner at home. I might go, I don't know, cause they know I get in my mood, I ain't gonna know. I just tell them bring me a plate. They all used to me. They know I don't like to leave this home. And um Tonight, oh, I know, they went to an ugly sweater family gathering, and I'm invited to come, and I know that, but I, I didn't want to. I wanted to stay home and make this tutorial, and uh, enjoy the peace and quiet, because it's been noisy around here. Kentucky home, all his friends been here, and they've been partying, and whatever kids do, and I enjoy them, but I, I enjoy them more when they go. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Time to uh, audition some of Elizabeth's, <coughs> excuse me, time to audition some of Elizabeth's gorgeous laces, and I am not going to be stingy. Whoever wins this is going to be very pleased, because I'm going to lavish them with Elizabeth's goodness. She has so much. Now, in a kit, you're not going to get my trim. I'm sure that you guys have plenty of trim from Elizabeth. If not, you better get some, because when it comes to the trims and fancy laces, Liz is the person to see. But this particular one, I'm going to step on it, honey. You're going to be blessed, and you're going to love it, because I'm going to lavish it with Lizzie goodness. <laughs> I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to pretty it up some, and uh, who's going to win? We'll know on New Year's Day. Stay tuned. I'll be back.